So microelectronic circuits. In this presentation, we are going to discuss about what is a microelectronic circuit. Um, we are going to learn about in this semester microcontroller. So before going into your subject microcontroller, we need to know about what is a microelectronic circuits, and this is otherwise known as an IC. See, this is a uh, first generation of computers. In a first generation of computers, we are having um, see the construction look. It requires more space. Okay. Uh, uh, what's the uh, but in nowadays computers we are using uh, laptops or palm chops we are using whatever it is. But we are not having this much bulky space to use those things, right? Um, in a first generation of computers, we are using an actual components, passive components. We are using number of small, small, small components. Okay, transistors, diodes, capacitors, many things we are using there. So, all those components are connected together by a met wires. Okay, electrical wires we are using to connect all those components. So, what are the number of components we are using? We are placing it, assembling it in one area, and um, we are connecting it with the electrical wires. So, for uh, first generation of computers, it takes this much spaces. Okay, but now have a of laptops and palm tops. That is a fifth generation of computers. Okay, here, see how this construction is. It looks very handy, right? So in first generation of computers, the reason I said is why it's that much bulky. Small electrical wires we have used, number of electrical wires we have used there for small small components. So it takes that much space. But for these gadgets, it's uh, we are using here is an integrated circuit to perform all the tasks. Okay. In integrated circuit, we can have all the components in program B. So, uh, what we can do is uh, made a connection path by means of a metallic strip. Metallic strip is nothing but we are just going to soldering the components connected together. That's why its size is less when comparing to first generation of computers. Main reason behind that is in first generation of computers, we are not going to use any integrated circuits. In a fifth generation of computers, we are using an integrated circuits. That's advanced technology. In nowadays, we are using many of the electronic components in number of ways. So all the things we are behind that is integrated circuits. Depending upon the design and uh, the infra the, and the structures behind that, we are selecting an integrated circuits. So this is an integrated circuit. This is one of the IC model. We all know how IC looks, right? Each IC will differ according to their number of pins. Okay. Depending upon the designs, we'll choose an integrated circuits. In this IC, oh, sorry, in this PCB board, we are having an, an IC. Okay, and uh, these are some of the small, small components. All the components are joined together by means of a metallic strip. These lines are visible here, right? What is this line is that? The, this line is a um, path, okay? Where we have connected the components. If you take a small look at this, see this is connected to this port. Okay, and this pin number, this is connected to this. So these are some of the small connections. 
okay as like this only we are designing an ic okay in our small board we are fixing our ic and what are the components we require we have to fix that and from that we are taking a path where it has to go and how it has to perform its task right this is an integrated ic which is fabricated into a silicon chip we can use this in any of the embedded components integrated circuits or prefer see these are some of the applications of integrated circuits we are using in our home or in our day to day life this is a laptops we are using in our day to day life and the speakers washing machines all those things are some of the electronic applications we are using in our day to day life here comes the types of integrated circuit integrated circuits are classified into analog integrated circuit and digital integrated circuit analog signals are a continuous signals okay it takes path as like in a sine wave continuously okay positive and negative values it will be taking okay next one is a digital integrated signal it takes only a discrete signal that is ones and zeros that is a digital signal or normally it will take a binary values uh, we are going to learn about a microcontroller so in a microcontroller we are using this digital ic's okay it will take a normally the values is 0 and 1 okay it's next one is a hybrid ic what is that hybrid ic is a combination of both analog and a digital signals okay these are some of the types of an integrated next have a small look at an uh, integrated ic's what we have discussed still now integrated circuits or uh, embedded in a single silicon chip or just fabricated in a single silicon chip which is connected together by means of a metallic strips and integrated circuits are classified into as analog signals and digital signals whereas analog signals are continuous signals digital signals are discrete signals which take a values of zeros and ones okay it's binary values it will be taking and in our chapter we are going to discuss about what is a microcontroller these microcontrollers are based on digital integrated circuits and these integrated circuits are otherwise known as a microchip or a microelectronic chip or anything right or a chip simply a chip so in the future slides we are going to discuss about what is a microcontroller so today why we discussed about microelectronic circuits are to know about what is a microcontroller we need to know about what is a microelectronic circuit because microcontroller is a one of the microelectronic circuit or a microchip so to, to know about the clearly we need to know about what is a microelectronic circuit that's we have discussed microelectronic circuit topic before going into a microcontroller topic in next videos we'll discuss about what is a microprocessor what is a microcontroller and how we are using it in a applications okay thank you